Hello guys, Coach Jen T here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of motivation as we're heading into our last couple weeks of December. Christmas is right around the corner and then we're gonna be hitting the new year. Super exciting. Um, and I just wanna put out a little bit of a public service announcement for those of you in my coaching group. So one of the most important things that I preach and I practice um, is that you do, that nobody is perfect. Nobody is perfect, right? So like, that's why a lot of times in this group I post like, what's your favorite kind of bread? What's your favorite kind of treat? What's your favorite kind of pizza? What's your favorite kind of ice cream? You've got to live your life, you guys. And that is where when you go into the new year, um, and even now, like, be kind to yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. A lot of times the reasons people keep failing or feel like they're failing is because they're super hard on themselves. Um, just think about your current life situation and how you can just be 1% better than you were yesterday. If you keep focusing on those 1% betters every day, after the entire year is over, you have really increased the healthy habits and the structure of your life and feeling more confident. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up. Yeah, the new year is cool, right? 2022 is right around the corner. A lot of people think of that as like a fresh start, new year, new you. There's a lot of that theme going on. Um, and yeah, that's great. But I want you to paint a picture in your head of two different people, okay? So you've got person A, we'll call person A Susie, okay? Just throwing that name out there. Um, we'll just call person A Susie. Let's say Susie wants to get healthy, feel great. And then you have person B, Freddie, we'll say, Susie and Freddie. Person B also wants to do the same thing. So the new year hits. Super exciting. I'm, let's say Susie's gonna go hard. She's gonna go hardcore. So Susie says, happy January. Susie says, I'm going to um, drink 100 ounces of water a day starting today. I'm gonna cut out all added sugars. I'm gonna start eating all the fruits and vegetables. I'm gonna track every little bite I eat. I'm gonna exercise at least five days a week. Susie's going hard, right? So Susie, um, let's say Susie wants to lose 50 pounds and let's say Freddie wants to lose 50 pounds too. So Susie goes in hard, starts the new year really hardcore, right? Diving feet first. Things are exciting. So Susie um, starts that journey and then you've got Freddie who, yay, happy new year. I'm going to get healthy and I want to lose 50 pounds and I'm going to focus on the habits that are going to get me there. So Freddie decides to, you know, see what he's eating on a daily basis right now, tracking his nutrition without judgment and without changing anything at first. And then he realizes, you know, maybe I'm going to cut um, 250 calories out of my day from these things that, you know, I don't really that aren't even really worth it to me, right? So cutting back a little bit or focusing on one thing at a time, such as I might just try to track how much water I'm drinking and increase that slowly over two weeks, checking off that habit. And then he starts sticking with that. And then two weeks later, he starts incorporating just one extra meal that includes vegetables. Um, and then he just starts on his journey. So slow and steady Freddy, um, is doing a really good job and after you know let's say two weeks Freddie drops um, four <clears throat> four pounds that's amazing he's just gonna pick one more thing to start working on then you have Susie who went hardcore and after you know two weeks Susie's dropped 10 pounds heck yeah Susie's rocking it um, and then they keep going about their journey and you've got Freddie doing one thing at a time going slowly, he might have a plateau, he might lose a little bit of weight, he might gain a little bit of weight, he's figuring out the battle, he sticks with it, he doesn't give up, and he keeps going through the entire year, focusing on one single change at a time, right? Those 1% betters. Um, 
And then you have Susie who after, you know, two months, maybe one month, maybe even three weeks of going hardcore, Susie is like tired. Susie is um, exhausted from focusing on all of these things and it's too hard and Susie has been deprived of sugar and Susie's been deprived of things that she loves. Her body's not recovering well because she's doing way too much exercise and Susie just throws in the towel after losing, let's say, 20 pounds, and then goes back to not only her old habits, but because she hasn't worked with her metabolism and she's just kind of gone haywire with cutting everything out, her metabolism is working less efficiently for her. So chances are likely Susie, who went hardcore, bounces back, gains back the 20 pounds, and then maybe plus some because she didn't take it slow. She went too hard. She went too fast. And she finds herself starting over again um, and feeling like a failure because she tried to do too many things at once. Um, and then you have Freddie, slow and steady Freddie, who continues to focus on one thing at a time. He gets through the tough times without getting giving up because he's established health, health, healthy habits one thing at a time so they actually de are developed onto autopilot. Um, cleaning up his nutrition, developing the healthy habits one step at a time. And before you know it, maybe over the course of a year, um, Freddie, with the consistent actions, checking off those healthy habits, Freddie ends up losing and keeping off 20 to 50 pounds over the course of a year. And he will be able to not only keep that off, the weight off, and be healthy for the rest of his life, um, but he can actually still continue to make progress and work on those small habits. That is all I have for you guys. Think of the new year. Are you going to be the Susie or are you going to be the Freddie? These People don't really exist, but um, I just wanted to give you guys that little mentality as we go into the new year to just continue focusing on one thing at a time. Don't set yourself up for failure in the new year by going too hard too fast. Stick with it. You guys, change is hard. Resistance to change is normal. So you want to make sure you're setting yourself up for success by taking it one day at a time. Every day is a new day. If you slip up, if you fall off track a little bit, sometimes that's exactly what you need to jump back on the wagon. Just keep going. And if you have a coach, make sure you keep in touch with your coach as you go about your journey because those progress charts are not linear. I've got people that have been with me for six to 12 months and yeah they've had weight gains guess what they didn't quit and they're down 30 pounds they're down 50 pounds they're key they're just full force going ahead one step at a time and getting through the struggles without quitting just focusing on a little bit better i hope you guys have a very merry christmas happy holiday happy new year and enjoy